During times of disaster, our local hospitals work their best to serve those in need. When Hurricane Michael hit the panhandle, Calhoun Liberty Hospital rose to the occasion despite damage to their own building. News 13's Faith Graham tells us what's in their plan on the road to recovery. Last October, the amount of patients at Calhoun Liberty Hospital tripled, all while the hospital suffered problems of their own. We lost a major portion of our roof and windows and the typical wind and rain damage to our building. The storm also impacted how many patients the hospital could accept. We have reduced our bed size right now. We are normally a 25 bed critical access facility and we do have 10 of our 25 beds open and we anticipate to probably maintain at that until until we do get into a new facility. A new facility that the hospital hopes to be moved into within two years. State legislators allocated $3 million to the hospital to help with the rebuild. That money is, has been allocated for initiating the engineering and architectural design of a new building. Kinney says the engineering process should begin in three to four months. Calhoun County Chairman Gene Bailey says the hospital is vital to the local economy. It's critical to us for the hospital to be open because we got two nursing homes and a prison, four to five hundred jobs, and we are hurting for jobs in this county. The hospital currently offers inpatient, outpatient, and emergency services. Faith Graham, News 13, Panhandle Street.